So we appreciate all the mods. And if you ain't smashed that like button, yeah, definitely run them likes up. Man, you know what I mean, like so we got to So we're gonna get into this Oprah. We're gonna switch gears real quick and get into this Oprah situation where, you know, you know, I know Oprah's supposed to be hospitalized, but this is Zempic out here, bro. You know what I mean, that's the focal. That's the focal point. There you go, trusting these pharmaceutical companies again. Again, so Oprah, we just Oprah's just the the, the tool, the uh, you know, the story. Her being like the biggest face net of that Zempic shit. And now it looks like it's catching up to her. So we're gonna definitely get into this article. Um, let's go ahead and get into this article real quick. What are the health risks of using Ozempic for weight loss? When it was reported on Wednesday morning that television personality Oprah Winfrey had collapsed and been rushed to hospital, many people assumed her health condition was linked to her use of weight loss medications like Ozempic. But was this assumption fair? What exactly are the health risks associated with drugs such as semaglutide, which are increasingly being taken for weight loss? Oprah Winfrey has a new TV special. Winfrey's close friend Gail King confirmed that she had been hospitalized, telling CBS Mornings she had some kind of stomach thing, stomach flu stuff was coming out of both ends. I won't get too graphic. All right, let me you know, let me stop that there and let me switch to this real quick. When Gail King mentioned it, uh, talking to Oprah from the hospital, so let me pull that up real, real quick. Then we could jump right back and see that article. Where is it at? Hold on. All right, here we go. Gail King, funky doll head. Were you offended because I said what I said about how you're, what happened and how you're recovering? I really didn't think it was a big deal or that it would be something that would be upsetting to you. Otherwise, I never would have said it. Yeah, I know you would have done that. No, I thought what you were trying to do was to explain why I wasn't there and doing that in a definitive way. Okay, we'll let, we'll let you go back, hon. <laughs> Everybody I've ever known that has access to my email has called me to say, are you all right? Thanks. <laughs> this is are Oprah's you... I'm all right face. Okay. All right. I'm well, all right. Well, all right I'm going to post this. <laughs> Were you offended because I said what I said about how you're, what happened and how you're recovering? I, ain't I really didn't I think ain't it was a big deal. I ain't snipe that fake Jack page, man. Get that fake Jack page out of here. I don't know. I... Get that jerk out of here. Get out of here. All right. Very happy to say joins us right now in studio i'm so glad you are here oh, and i'm so sorry that oprah can't yesterday she said i'm going to rally i'm going to rally she had some kind of stomach thing stomach flu where stuff was coming out of both ends i won't get too graphic <laughs> but needless to say she ended up in the hospital dehydration oh get an iv so it was a very serious whoa, thing whoa. Oh. so it had to be I hope oh, she's okay yeah she's she's oh she will be okay good, she will good. be okay i hope she's not mad at me for sharing that detail but <laughs> no, I, but i wanted to make it clear though that it mattered to her and it really bothered her that she couldn't be here for you today. So we're very happy. All right, so she is on there spilling open business. All right, let's get back into this article, though. Definitely ain't playing. In December last year, Winfrey revealed she had been taking prescription medication to manage her weight, making her part of a growing cohort of Hollywood stars who are either rumored to have, or who have admitted to, taking the class of drug. While Ozempic is not approved for weight loss in Australia, its off-label prescription is on the rise, something the TGA said it would ban in September this year. Several studies have shown a link between GLP-1 agonists, the class of drugs that include Ozempic, and gastrointestinal issues. Mm. One study from October 2023 found that semaglutide and liraglutide were associated with increased risks of pancreatitis, gastroparesis, and bowel obstruction. In another U.S.-based clinical trial, almost half of participants reported experiencing adverse effects, with nausea and vomiting being the most commonly reported symptom, followed by diarrhea and fatigue. Mm. While Dr. Ian Musgrave, a senior lecturer in pharmacology at the University of Adelaide, agrees that some of Winfrey's symptoms align with those reported by GLP-1 users, he says it is more likely she suffered from a virus like norovirus or rotavirus. Yeah. Are typically mild and transient. So basically, very unpleasant but not something you would get hospitalized for. Loading. He explains that because these drugs work by acting on the gastrointestinal tract, some gastrointestinal side effects are to be expected. He says these are typically mild and temporary, and should not be overstated. In rare cases, they can cause more serious problems, and he says those with a history of 
Musgrave says for most people, the benefits of such medications outweigh potential side effects. Because they're so effective at controlling blood glucose as well as causing weight loss and have very important effects in reducing things like cardiovascular risk, the risk benefit for people with type 2 diabetes or obesity is firmly in the benefit, he says. The effects of rapid or yo-yoing weight loss. On social media, Ozempic face is said to be one of the most pronounced effects of the drug, characterized by a noticeably more hollow and aged face caused by losing weight quickly. But the effects of rapid weight loss goes beyond chiseled cheekbones. Loading Dr. Natasha Yates, a GP and clinical tutor at Bond University, says it's important to remember that most people will regain the weight once they stop taking the drug. She adds that the effects of rapid weight loss or fluctuating weight can put a great deal of stress on the body. It does put a strain on the cardiovascular system. Interestingly, it tends to put less of a strain on people who are obese or morbidly obese, but who are overweight, which is a caution to people who might just be wanting to lose a few kilos to look better rather than from a health perspective, she says. Yates says that the most healthy way to lose weight is to do so fairly slowly and to keep it off. So Oprah, Oprah was actually endorsing this shit, bro. Like, she was endorsing this, uh, you know, Zempi got lawsuits against him too, so... Um, there's people that's filing lawsuits against them, saying they basically effed up their stomach. Look, Oprah ass is up in there. See, I wonder if Mike Tyson was taking that shit, because remember, he got rushed to the damn hospital, because he was having a... Uh, they claim it was a stomach ulcer, but... I don't know. I don't know. See, these, these niggas is taking... They ain't taking natural products. They, they are using, you know pharmaceutical laboratory you know uh substances that they lose weight you know what i mean so they they they're not even using nothing natural and they're not it's like nobody wants to work out they everybody wants to lose weight so fast so this, look, this is a list of all the celebrities that endorse that shit bro chelsea handler open winfrey tracy morgan amy schumer sharon osborne elon musk it's like all these different people's on here. Khloe Kardashians and it's some wild stuff, bro. Yeah, hey, like all these chemicals when there's all this natural stuff out here that work perfectly. And hey. you have to put in work regardless. Right. Nobody want to put in the work. Oh. It's these screens, man. It's these screens. These niggas uh right. Niggas diet screens, screens and diets. Yeah, let's call it what it is screens and diets, right? Yeah, yeah, Tyson dad's got rushed to the hospital. I'm like, all right, I'm starting to see all these cases about exempic, you know, I mean, effing with people's stomachs like that. And then I see Tyson fight got pushed back with Jake Paul, and I'm like, he had to get rushed to the hospital. They saying it was a right stomach ulcer, but. They can, say, they can say anything, right. right? Just to keep, just to keep this type of shit out of the media. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you said bobbleheads leave that shit alone, right? It's crazy, bro. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this shit crazy out here. So, yeah, they they got they got pending lawsuits, and it's people that's individually filing. They got class action suits, and people that's individually filing. You know, um, this is basically saying that 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 drug messed their stomach up, bro. Yeah. All right, let me switch back to this real quick. Associate Professor David Scott of Deakin University's Institute for Physical Activity and Nutrition is concerned about the effect that short-term weight loss can have on muscle mass and bone density. While there has yet to be research on the long-term effects of semaglutide, he says studies conducted on weight loss over 12 or 24 months show most people lose more than just fat. When you lose a significant amount of weight on these drugs, about 30 to 40 percent of that is muscle, Scott says. <laughs> We also know that within about 12 months of stopping these drugs, people regain around 70% of the weight they lost. 
and I suspect that very little, if any, of that would be muscle. He says this is concerning as it suggests a lower composition of muscle in the long term, which we know to be important for health as we age, and so weight loss drugs need to be accompanied by healthy lifestyle changes. Once they come off the drug, we need to be making sure that people are doing effective exercise and consuming the right nutrition to preserve muscle and bone, says Scott. Makes it harder for them to go out. You don't actually deal with the psychological reasons someone might be overeating. GP Dr. Natasha if they're simply losing weight by reducing calories, they're not feeding their cells and growing them in a healthy way, she says. And then in the long term, of course, nutritional deficiencies can be a big problem. Social and... Yeah, because Zempic suppresses your appetite. Um, But the thing is, what they use it is not natural. So, yeah, I mean, when they suppress the appetite and they taking this drug, it's basically tearing their goddamn stomach up. Um, and that we know right. it's chemical. We know it's chemical based, right? Destroying their gut health, right? Wow, wow. So that's why they having gastrointestinal problems because that drug is is basically a chemical based drug. There's nothing natural about it, so it suppresses the appetite, but at the same time. It's ripping up your intestinal tract. Yeah, it's tearing your stomach up. So, of course you're going to lose weight if it's destroying your gut. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy if you actually think about it. And this yeah. is what they was backing? This is what they was actually yeah. endorsing? Yeah, well, this they, is like they a, only this backed is like it. a chemical weapon. Well, they only backed it because they was paying the check. So, you know, any, whoever got any, the check. Yeah, right. when you start seeing pharmaceutical companies endorsing celebrities, then that's just to get the people to go along with it and buy. So them checks is big for them. Just like a certain C C vid, C vid out here. When C vid was going on, and they was and they was promoting the jizz, the jizzy jizzy, you seeing the celebrities had to get behind that. No diddy. They had to get behind that. That's it's crazy. like you you don't have a career if you don't get behind this. So it's the same thing when they, when they put their face on stuff like this. It's the endorsements they get. It's them checks. But it's then the they check. even fall a victim and start using the stuff themselves. Yeah, they deny it. They they have to use it. You know what I mean? So you, that's why you're starting to see a lot of them <laughs> pop but up in the But then Oprah come out and said she, she didn't support them. Yeah. Yeah. But she did at one point. Yeah. And she found out too late that it's actually been uh, out here messing people's stomachs up. Yeah. And I guess if it's like ripping up your goddamn intestinal tract with all the chemicals, eventually you're going to have some weight loss, but it ain't going to be no healthy weight loss. All right. Let me see. If Drugs such as Ozempic, the tearing, holistic approach we try and take. People will still take it. All right. The holistic approach we try and take when someone loses weight is to get some psychological support as to why they have been struggling with obesity in the first place. And if all you're going to do is give them a drug to lose the kilos, you're not actually addressing the cause. Yates says there are also concerns that weight loss medication could contribute to eating disorders. We've come so far as a community on addressing the stigma of weight and shame, she says. This medication does give people. Make the most of your health, relationships, fitness, and nutrition with our Live Well newsletter. Get it in your inbox every Monday. Well, like we said, um, you got to use natural products, man. You have to, you have to if you're going to take that approach. Yeah. You better be looking and doing your research. Doing your research. I'm talking about heavy, extensive research. If you're going to start using stuff like that, that's why we tell people to research the zeolite. Like right. y'all can research it well, yourself. Well, zeolite is, is naturally from the earth. Exactly. Zeolite so is literally it. ash from a volcano mixed with alkaline water. Like that's completely natural. 
The Ozem Tech, whatever that shit is called, is all chemical based. It's a bunch of synthetic this chemicals. This nigga said Ozem Pet. <laughs> a bunch of. <laughs> Ozem Pet. A bunch of synthetic chemicals, man. All right. Mixed together. Yeah. To to basically ruin your gut so it'll force you to lose weight through not being healthy. Mm. That's wild to me. That's wild to me. And people still going to take it knowing this information. Yeah. Shit, the Zia like help has been helping people lose weight. All right. That's a natural product. It is, it is cleaning... It's actually cleaning the chemicals out of your body. But see, they don't want people to get educated in that. Because you think about it, if the if the medical field wanted people to, you know, to basically use natural products that can actually heal them, they're not gonna they're not gonna put those, they're gonna not gonna push those to the forefront. Right. Because their their idea is to keep you coming back to them. Um like uh as far as like chemical based because you know pharmaceuticals have contracts with these chemical companies as well as well as the food the food companies have the same contracts with these chemical companies they need somewhere to dump the waste exactly they need somewhere to dump these chemicals at so they even dumping the chemicals in the water supply that we all drinking inside the ocean and they're putting it in the food yeah i mean so that's what we dealing with. So they're not gonna push anything natural to the forefront. They not. Mm-mm. They not, bro. Our processed foods in this country is basically drugs. Um, our food have to be cleared through the federal drug administration or the federal drug agency, whatever the hell they call it, the FDA. So yeah. that means our food is classified as drugs because all the damn chemicals. That's yep. in the food have to get approved by them. And of course, they approve every type of chemical and drug that goes into our food. Exactly. But yep. let it be a natural farm or something. They'd be attacking them. Oh, you making people sick, you know? They ready to shut down all the small farms, but the corporations, they allow to poison as many people as they want. Yeah. Oh, and they had oh, they just have a recall here. Oh, salmonella recall. E. coli, recall. Yeah, E. coli and salmonella is not as dangerous as those chemicals y'all approving. Yeah, we uh, caught on to y'all game a long time ago. Salmonella and E. coli ain't got shit to do, ain't got nothing on those chemicals. Those chemicals, your body cannot fight those. You need something extra. Right. But E. coli and salmonella, nigga, you got something called an immune system. As long as you ain't right. no kid or an elderly person, and you're a normal right. adult with a, a good immune system, you can actually fight. Your body actually fights that stuff off naturally. Actually, you got E. coli and salmonella naturally in your intestinal tract. You can, Everybody can look it up. You literally have that in your intestinal tract right now. And your body's been handling it for years. We see they use these things in, in the media. <clears throat> right. They use these things but in the media to basically uh basically divert the people. Right. Um from using uh natural natural right, natural stuff. Natural, they have yeah. running from bacteria. They they tell you bacteria is the enemy when your body is made up of all back all different kinds of bacteria. All right. So they tell you the bacteria is the enemy, but then they bombard you with chemicals, and your body don't recognize chemicals at all. You your body can't process them, so all it does is just accumulate in your body and cause havoc because it is mm-hmm. by disrupting your hormones and 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 and, and basically shutting down your, your organs eventually. Because once it's in your bloodstream, it's hard to get out. These forever chemicals. They they talking about microplastics is in semen of every man on the planet now. Microplastics. They found traces of microplastic everywhere. Well, I'm like, well, duh, it's going to be in the semen. Because if it's in the ocean water, of course it's going to be in the semen. Right. True. 
because that means the planet is polluted. So if the planet is polluted, our bodies is going to be polluted because mm -hmm. we aren't because we're living off of the planet. That's, that's the type of logic we lost as humanity. We literally lost common sense. No more common sense left. If you poison the waters, our bodies are going to be poisoned also because where else do we get our water from? All right. That's logical. So you got these corporations that's pumping all these chemicals in the water. You got these pharmaceutical companies dump, putting all these poison in our food and, and, and the rest of them spraying the air with all types of... Who, who knows what type of chemicals they spraying us with? Well, we know it's aluminum, barium. We know it's barium. You might as well aluminum. give a recipe. Yeah, that, that's what they spraying. Barium, aluminum, and other um, uh, metal, uh, basically heavy metal particles. That's right. what we dealing with. This is all public record, so. It is public record. It's all public record. I all mean, right, so stop, side note real quick. Side note, this is Jag's new uh, lawyer, African lawyer dude. That's his, that's Jag. She switched attorneys mm -hmm. to this little, this guy right here, African dude. So, you know, real life street stars is probably the one that supplied this, <laughs> supplied him with, you know, supplied it with the, uh, with the African mm -hmm. lawyer. You know what I mean? But let's continue. Yeah. Let's continue. It's, uh, it's wild, man. Jag need to get some of this goddamn zeal light. Yeah, she do. Like, yo, she do. I'm telling you, bro. You need detox for real, for real, real. I'm talking about a serious detox. That's literally, literally your only hope right now uh, is trying to detox the stuff and try to avoid it as much as possible. Trying mm -hmm. to avoid now, you ain't gonna be able to avoid all because the environmental poisons is not insane right now. All right. Like, it's to the point where the people who's doing the poisoning is even poisoning themselves, and they don't even care. They don't get they don't give two craps. They know they poisoning themselves. And they don't care. That's how crazy it is. Um, hey man, we living on man, we all living on borrowed time, but damn, they definitely accelerating <laughs> our our death dates with all these toxins. I mean, if you just look around and all the sickness that's going on, you can just clearly see that. Modern medicine ain't doing what it's supposed to be doing because it's just too many sick individuals walking around out here. Right, that's a fact. It, it's just way too that. many, bro. It's it's so it's so overwhelming that it, it can't even be hidden anymore. Like right. if you ain't educated now by now, with you know, being as though we have access to the information, if you're not educated right now, then on what you what the hell you putting inside your body, right? Then and you're not being conscious of it. And you're just going along with it because you're seeing commercials and, you know, these products is being sold, like, mass production to meet the demand. So, you know, if they can mass produce this stuff to meet the demand of the people, then you know you know everything is, is based off the chemicals. Like, they, how can you, how can you grow, grow uh, a goddamn potato in a, in a, in a goddamn week? All the Mickey D's, all this chicken, all yeah. this chicken. That that's how they, all this goddamn chicken that they gonna like. It ain't that many chickens in the world for them for them to never run out of wings. <laughs> you got all these goddamn wings and chicken hearts out here. It's like God, hey, you gotta think about it. it. It's only one. It's only two wings per chicken. One heart per chicken. All right. That's a lot of chicken, bro. You got to think about all the chicken wing chains that's out here, all the fast food chicken wing chain, and then all the all the bat frozen bags of chicken, and it's like, wow. Where they getting all, and then you come to find out they cloning chicken. Cloning, cloning me. All right, shit crazy. And, and they don't even have to, and they don't even have to market. Like, they don't even have to tell you that it's cloned. That's the crazy thing. So, and, and my guess is we all eating clone meat at this point. And, and, and just because you're vegan, don't, don't think you're exempt because don't think that they ain't splicing vegetables and adding 
human DNA to tomatoes and all this type of stuff that they were doing. Mate, yeah, mate, shit, that we talked about. We did a whole live stream of right. that on Rumble. So Matter of fact, let me let me see that real quick. Hold on, let me let me promote that real quick because y'all y'all can go over Rumble. We ain't gonna get dive deep into that conversation on here, but we did get into details on Rumble with receipts and everything. All right. So let me let me let me pull that up because I don't we don't want to speak too too much about nah, that. This on is, this, nah, this but platform. this ain't nah, but this is you could go on you. Nah, this this is public, bro. I know I know what you're saying is public. But nah, they don't care. But, but, they don't... Not, but this is a known thing in the science field, though, of splicing. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but they added. yeah. Th but, these but are actual not... medical, bro. This, yeah. this is actually like they nobody can say this is false information when this is actual, real. But still, though, but still, but still, real, they be trying to hide. Real, they be trying to hide. The, but still, though, they be trying to hide the channel when we start talking about shit like that, bro. Uh, they, you I, know what I mean, I don't know about that. All right, let me hold, let me see if I can pull this up real quick, y'all, so I can. Uh... You sound extra paranoid tonight. Man. Nah, nah, it ain't it ain't about being paranoid, this bro. Ain't, this ain't because uh... we know we know we know certain topics on this platform. Well, if that's, if that's the case, then we shouldn't have bought the Ozempic. That's the case. We shouldn't have bought the Ozempic shit up at all. Nah, it's it's all right to do what we doing as far as reporting it, but when we start going to deeper into shit, we know we know we how to. We going they, like, deeper into the science that's out there. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing that we're saying that's wrong. It ain't nothing that we're saying that's not already public. And that's right, not so already established science already. Let me see if I can pull this Genetically up. cloning chickens and, and, and uh, genetically modified foods is, is, is already out there. It's already public. It's already well known. And it's already part of the science. It, it's... it's it's just what it is. Um, when you buy certain items in certain areas, it says this was made with bioengineered ingredients. Like it, it literally says it on some of the packaging. Like this is educate people should know about what they putting in their bodies. I'm, 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 I'm that's why we tell. People should that's know. why I tell. That's why I tell people to do their own research. You got a phone in your hand when you grocery shopping. You could look. You could easily look up the ingredients. Like we don't have to. Like we could mention it, but y'all the ones that gotta follow through with the research on your own because we're not in your home. We're not shopping with you at the market. Yeah, you know I mean, you you're responsible for your own for your own for your own shit. Yeah, you know I mean, that's what and that's what that's the point I'm trying to make. Like we can give y'all the information, but we could tell y'all in a way of look. You got a phone in your hand. You can Google this shit. Every every item you put into your cart, you can actually Google the, Google the ingredients on the back of that shit. That's all. That's all I'm saying, bro. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's well, it. we're old head say. The guy got him hit him with the old head yeah. real quick. With the elder, with the with the elder. Say. That's because you don't have the information. Okay. Huh? Just public. All you gotta do is go look it up. Huh? Okay. I didn't come here to find out what you think. No, I'm just asking. No, no, no. You didn't. You say you thought. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Huh? Huh? Okay. But what I don't want to hear what you thought. Mm -hmm. I saw the check, nigga. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I got to sit in what you thought. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Huh? That's all I'm saying. All right. That's all we saying. Do your own research. Somebody You're responsible even for your own research. Somebody said even the plant-based stuff is yeah, that's, that's the biggest offender. Yeah, that's the the biggest stuff is the biggest offenders because when they say break it down to them, not talking yep. about plants outside it's talking about chemical plants if right. you look at Tell all them. the plant based stuff it's loaded with chemicals it is barely nothing natural in there that's what i'm saying people who's going down the vegan path is even worse even worse off because y'all getting the most chemicals when you buying and package stuff all, uh, them, uh, all that all that right. um what's that's your crazy. meats and all that that's nothing but a bunch of chemicals yeah, you you got to you got to definitely different look chemicals into that, in that shit. shit, bro. It's like thirty chemicals in that, bro. It's made in a laboratory. How could that be yeah. healthier? Facts. I don't understand how that can be healthier. I, yeah, I make make y'all uh, yeah eat wild eat wild dot com definitely a place where you, if you want to shop local and get your food local, your meats and all that, because that's the best probably the best way to shop is to get all, everything local. So if you got local farmers markets or local um, butchers and all that, it's probably better to shop with them because that's all that stuff is grown locally. 
it's all butchered locally um and you could just yeah go to eatwilds.com and you could find farmers markets in your area butchers in your area where you can get right. natural meats where where you don't have to worry about going to a uh, you know and shopping and buying these uh major corporations uh you know process chemical based foods you know what i mean and so. to tell you the truth a lot of people are starting to do that now and then you start to see a lot of influencers taking off on yeah. social media and telling people to eat real food and people's listening and they feeling a lot better they doing a lot better but they help because it's the processed chemical foods that's making us sick that's what we're not getting anything natural that hasn't been altered in any type of way that's what you're supposed to be eating I don't care if it's meat, a vegetable, a fruit. All that stuff is fair game as long as it don't have what sprayed with nothing or genetically altered. Like Yo, Charlene real. Williams said, I go to a butcher shop. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Shop locally because you know all that stuff is coming from local farms. They're not shipped in from China. It's not shipped Fact. in from Mexico and all these farm Fact. places. You're getting the shit locally. And that's what the one thing what they're trying to stop. They harass, they harassing these farms. These, these right. local farms, they get harassed right. by, the, by the black suits all day. And they let the corporations rock out. Yeah, they get harassed by the blue, by the black suits and big boots and black suits all day. I mean, raiding they shit, man. Yeah, yeah, somebody you had a good point. Got Eat all your fruits crop. and vegetables. Make sure all your fruits and vegetables come with the seeds. Because that's how you, right. that's another way you can tell if it was altered or not. Right. If it ain't got no seeds in it, it was definitely altered. Yeah, like um, a, lot, a lot of people still buying them watermelons with no seeds in it, bro. Right. After that, you buy a watermelon with no seeds in it, you might as well go ahead and throw that shit in the trash. You got to make sure it's not sprayed with anything and it have to have the seeds in it. I mean, that's just that's that's just being real, man. Mm -hmm. That's what's making us sick. I, I mean, that's what it is. Our bodies are natural, yeah, right. so we're supposed to eat natural food. You eat real food. Um, anything that comes in a bag and it got 50 different ingredients, I'm telling you, you're going to get sick because all the ingredients is all chemicals. Your body cannot process chemicals at all. Your liver and all that is not designed to process synthetic chemicals. My bad. Your body do process that. We got natural chemicals in our body, which are hormones. But when it comes to those synthetic yeah. chemicals, man, we our body don't know what to do with them. So it just it stores it in our body, and then we go back to the doctor. Oh, y'all got you got cancer and all. That. That's because all these chemicals are stored in your body. That's why we're saying you got to detox. It is because where is it going to go? All these toxins, your body don't know. You got to think about it. Your, your, your liver processes toxins as well as your kidneys filter it. If yeah. your kidneys and your liver don't even know what the hell it is, they, they can't even process it because it's synthetic. Your body ain't used to it. I'm trying to tell you, man, anything that's synthetic chemicals do not b belong in the body at all. Not but not, but, but Isaiah, you got to remember too. Body. You got to remember too, it's not just the the chemicals is the heavy metals. You can't, you can't even. Nah, but the chemicals are a, a, listen, a, a byproduct listen, of the heavy metals, though. Man, you can't even get the heavy metals out of your system. They, ha they have to be some type of magnetic charge. Nah, but what I'm telling you is the chem a lot of those chemicals are heavy metals. Listen, these. listen, That's I'm telling you. poisonous. I'm telling you, like, the heavy metals is just stores in your joints. That's it. That's where it goes. I mean, you can't piss it out or any of that. It, it goes, stores in your joints. That's where it latches on that. So people walking around with all types of problems, back pains and, and knee pains and shit, that ain't nothing but a result of inflammation from heavy metals and chemicals that's stored in your body. I mean, this this is like public record. Like, this shit could be looked up. Right. Easily it looked up. Record. It could be looked up. And only the reason why we able to... Up. And the only reason why we able to, um, you know, you know, tap into the natural products is because from doing the research from doing the research i mean it, you can't just know it know it if you ain't really looking for it gt right that's it. why we get cystic tumors because those are the toxins that's accumulating in our body and those 
system tumors are big pockets of just toxins that your body is trying to hold on to so it don't because it's protecting it from going to your organs because the mucus see it don't be the mucus that's causing the sickness the mucus be there trying to hold the toxins in place to prevent it from going into your bloodstream and going to your major organs so what it does it creates tumors that's why a lot of times when they do surgery on the tumors, it's spread through the body because that pocket is holding the sickness there or the toxins there. And, it, and it's inflamed tissue and, and, and mucus. A buildup. Right. That shit That's builds it up. And it's all the toxins that we're being poisoned with. This is like a, a, a slow kill operation because it, it's literally just a bunch of poison. That's why we developed our shop around natural products because we realized sure. that everything we've been using over the years is poisoning us. Zeolite is one of the most amazing minerals of our age. Millions of people have been using detoxification supplements to remove harmful toxins, pollutants, heavy toxic metals, as well as to balance pH levels, lower the risk of viruses like cold and flu, support the immune system, and improve nutrient absorption. What is zeolite? Zeolite is a volcanic ash that forms over time when ash and lava react with alkalized water, resulting in a compound with a very strong cage-like structure and a negative charge. Zeolite is one of the most fascinating and powerful nature remedies available. Great to detox and balance your body. Health benefits of detoxing. The removal of excess heavy metals can improve overall health. Detoxification helps balance a body's pH levels. This product provides 30 capsules, one month supply, ships within three days. Purchase now at night and daynetmarket.com.